The following is the Quick Gallopers analysis of the Saturday, February 17th, 2024 race day. 71 runners were declared for the nine race program, which continues to highlight the slow start to the 2024 season. However, things should improve going forward. The opening event of nine, a maiden contest restricted to three-year-olds run at 1,000 meters round, was won in a winning debut effort by King Crown at 1 to 5, saddled by Stephen Todd, and was the first of a riding double for leading reinsman Tevin Foster. The final time of 103.4 seconds for five furlongs demonstrates that King's Crown will have to improve significantly to challenge the leading three-year-olds. Former five-time champion Trevor Simpson, whose record of 172 races in a season is unlikely to be surpassed, was aboard four to five favorite Sabina, trained by Owen Sharp, to win the 800 meter second event. The six year old Bay Mare, racing for only the tenth occasion, worked hard to beat her nearest rival by one length. Saddled by Rowan Mathy and bet at seven to five, Crimson with Bebeto Harvey holding the reins, joined the ranks of the all too frequent runaway winners on show at K Manus Park each race day. Leading from the 200 mark, the eight year old former top class campaigner went on to score by just over 11 lengths, easing down at the end of the 1500 meter gallop of race three. Now operating in the middle claiming rank, Crimson, once a live contender in the higher classes, has found another settling ground at eight years of age. Trained by Ricardo Brown, KP Choice at seven to five, won race four, run at 1100 meters by a conservative seven lengths, outclassing his rivals from in front to present Robert Halladine with the first of his two wide margin winners on the day. At the end of race five, to confirm his riding double, Foster returned to the winner's enclosure following a six and a half length romp over 1200 meters by Adina Marsh, conditioned by Lydia Anglin. Anglin is quickly capturing the hearts of racing fans, not only by winning races, her fourth since becoming a trainer in May 2023, but also with her infectious personality. Ridden by Matthew Bennett, trainer Ten Sang Chung's smart asset at four to one, with a late burst of finishing pace, scored ahead a very competitive field of 10 in the day's sixth over the 1,000 meters of the straight course. Smart Asset has now scored in three of his four career starts, and with his two triumphs prior executed over the 800 meter straight course, demonstrates a distinct affinity to the trip. For Chung, it was a long-awaited visit to the winner's circle. In the featured Reggae Month trophy, run as race seven, Gary Sub Ra Tease, improving four-year-old sprinter, sensational move at eight to one, was five lengths the best with 2022 champion Dane Dawkins executing the riding honors. The stable companion of the winner Desert of Malibu, USA at two to five, reared badly as the starting gates opened for the 1000 meter straight event and made no impression in only managing to finish fourth. The roguish behavior of the talented Desert of Malibu has to be dealt with as soon as possible by trainer Subra T. Let us look at the head-on view of the bad exit from her starting stall. This was the second consecutive occasion that Desert of Malibu was behaving in such a manner. The first time with Dawkins in the saddle she was able to recover and win going six furlongs. On Saturday at five furlongs, she was never in with a chance, sensational move as one of the most improved horses currently in training. The win by sensational move continued the success of trainer Subra T thus far in the big races this season, having already saddled Atomica and Desert of Malibu to victories. In 2024, Subra T has won six races 
from 36 starts and is the leader in the Trainers' Championship ahead of champion Jason DaCosta with Anthony Nunes third. Christopher Mamdine, the 2019 champion jockey, increased his career tally to 199 successes aboard Captain Philip at 3-1 to one, with the frequently raced maiden colt outstaying his closest rival by six lengths over the 1,400 meters of race eight for trainer Gary Griffiths, following 23 previous attempts. In the nightcap, Halladine confirmed his double success aboard Brown Skin Girl, turned out in unbeatable condition by champion Jason DaCosta in returning a winning margin of over eight and a half lengths to emphasize the constant overmatching of horses in most races. After disappointing as a three-year-old, the hope for the connections of Brown Skin Girl is that she is ready to develop and grow. At the end of this race day, no trainer was able to saddle more than one winner. Among the jockeys, two, Tevin Foster and Robert Halladine, both scored doubles. Foster has regained the lead by two wins in the race to become champion jockey in 2024, this after a blitz by Radish Roman, which included six winners on a single race day. Thank you for watching another video produced by the team from quickgallopjaya.com and its YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. Please stay on the channel for other enlightening videos on those involved in local horse racing. Please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell.